this video was taken in an American factory where they used men and women both. And over in England, women were used even more extensively at the time. And that leads to the first known asbestosis fatality, which was the case of Nellie Kershaw. She was 33 years old when she passed away and she started working when she was only 13. That's what young girls did. They had to go to work and the asbestos jobs were mostly like weaving and textile type jobs, sewing jobs, which at that time were stereotypically given to women. And in the book, it says that Nellie Kershaw's case was the sentinel case accounting for the naming of asbestosis as a distinct pneumoconiosis and for giving the first discussion on asbestos bodies. Now, asbestos bodies are growths in the lungs that are caused by asbestos fibers embedding themselves in the lung. Pneumoconiosis, that's a big, hard spell word. What it means is dust disease. There's several types of common dust diseases. If you breathe silica dust, you'll get silicosis. If you breathe asbestos dust, you'll get asbestosis. If you breathe coal dust, you'll get black lung, as they call it. All three are types of dust diseases, pneumoconiosis. So here's a picture of Nellie Kershaw. And again, she died when she was only 33 years old. And you can see towards the end that uh, she had typical symptoms were cough and shortness of breath. That's what dyspnea means. Expectorations. So when she's coughing, she has a lot of phlegm. And believe it or not, uh, it's pretty common that in persons with severe asbestosis, when you take the phlegm, they can put that under the microscope and actually see the asbestos fibers. She's coughing up the fibers in her lung. It's not pleasant. And she finally passed away on March 14th of 1924. Uh, her official cause of death uh, on the death certificate here was the primary cause, fibrosis of the lungs due to inhalation of mineral particles. Now, there's another sad postscript to Nellie Kershaw's tale, which is that the last 10 years of her life were spent battling with her employer, which was a company called Turner & Newell, trying to get some compensation for her injuries because she wasn't able to work or provide for herself or her family. It's not very uncommon and for the asbestos companies to have fought this sort of thing. And Turner & Newell, as you'll learn in part four, is one of the companies that helped cover up the risks of asbestos. So Nellie Kershaw's death was the first measured death by asbestosis, and her death at least caused medical science to recognize asbestosis as a distinct pneumoconiosis that was caused by exposure to asbestos. Asbestosis in Nellie's case was fatal. These days, asbestosis is rarely fatal, but I have personally represented a few people whose cause of death was asbestosis. And it's not something to be taken lightly. And when you hear people talk about asbestos not being dangerous, every disease associated with asbestos can be fatal and has been proven to be so. Mm -hmm.